Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build and tuning episode. Last episode, we made this Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 8 um, from Tokyo Drift. It's got the Tokyo Drift paint. Um, it looks insane and it drifted absolutely fucking amazing. So if you haven't seen that, I recommend you do go check that video out um, or download the tune from the storefront. Um, so on to what I need to say. Um, the support for this um, countdown leading up to Christmas is absolutely crazy so I appreciate everyone's support and I love you yeah I just came out of it the I-L-Y <laughs> but yeah on this video in the comments below please put a comment of what car you want to see in the next video um, the one with the most thumbs up will get chosen so sorry if it yours isn't uh, the most thumbs up but that's the only way I can see of doing this um, so if you see a comment um, that you like the look of just give it a thumbs up and the one with the most thumbs up will get chosen so on to the next car which is a BMW E36 the comment was by the Matic 777 uh, so yeah this could be quite sick okay so here we are BMW E36 um, what does it oh wrong button I always do this I always press the wrong button oh, okay I was gonna see um, what um, horsepower it was running in stock, but I guess not. Uh, let's see if there's any cool paints here, uh, but I don't think there is going to be. Um, I think keeping this nice and clean is going to be absolutely the way to go. So I'm going to keep keep this nice and clean, uh, keep it blue. Uh, the blue is very nice, um, so let's just go with that. Um, I don't know, I kind of want to start this out a little bit. Um, what we could do, is there any other... I like that green. I'm going green. Even though the purple is quite um, different as well. But I really, really like that green. It's such a different shade of green. Like It's not a normal bam in your face green. It's kind of laid back and... Yeah, if you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I mean, but yeah. <laughs> it's not like fully in your face. It's not bright. It's kind of dull. Which I kind of like, to be fair. So That's the paint we are going to go with. Um, so let's jump into the garage. Oh, All right, dude. Let me know what you need. Let's see how much this weighs a stock. Um, first off, we'll go to the engine swap. Uh, I'm going to stick with a stock engine, even though there is an RB that I could upgrade to. Uh, but we got 321 horsepower as stock. Uh, so I'm sticking with the standard engine. Drivetrain, we won't have to swap that. And aspiration, we could put a single turbocharger in. Uh, should we do... No, I'm going to stick with about... I'm going to stick without. Uh, I think we've got plenty of power in this engine already. So, yeah, I'm going to stick without. Uh, let's see if there's any nice spoilers here. We can de-wing it, which I am going to do. De-wing looks so clean. And it's going along with my clean kind of stance look I'm going to be pulling off on this car. So, stock tyres, uh, stock tyre compound. That is the way forwards. Um, tyres, let's go 235s on the front. And on the rear, we can go to 5.5, five, spot on. I uh, don't want too much tyre on this one, um, seeing as um, we aren't running a turbo. So it won't be massive amounts of power, but we want enough tyre just to get enough grip. Um, Alright, let's have a look for some very nice rims that suit this car. Um, yes, my camera works. Boost. God dish. I'm going to go with those. FKSE Profile 5s. So I'm going with those. Let's do it. It's got some dish. Oh, got dish. And let's come out. <laughs> come out of there. And into the rim size. Let's go 18s on here. Um, I don't like my rim sizes too over the top. So 18s look just about spot on for me. And so let's do that. And into drivetrain, everything in drivetrain is going to be raised. So just go through and do that yourselves. Uh, but yeah, this car's looking pretty sweet to be fair. Uh, the offset doesn't look too bad on this car either. Uh, like some cars, it does look very, very bad. Uh, but I just realised I put the off-road uh, transmission on. Uh, you don't want to do that. You want to do the race transmission. Um, yeah, so I'm so used to just scrolling to the end and just picking the upgrade. But now they've chucked in the Storm Island upgrades. Um, it's not too good, not gonna lie. Uh, so there we go, race differential is on. Um, into platformer handling, I think everything in here is gonna be race, but yeah, I might not do a roll cage, but 
I might do because this car looks absolutely... Ah, look at that. That looks insane. I don't know why I just punched myself, but... Look at that. Look at the dish. Oh, wow. This car's pulled off. That looks absolutely class. If you don't think that looks class, you have something wrong with you. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's put the race suspension on. Uh, onto anti-roll bars. Let's do race on both. Uh, oh, forgot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, on the rear. There we go. <laughs> let's put race on there. And roll cage. See, I don't know. I kind of want the more of a, a clean look. I'm going to go with the, the sport chassis and roll cage. I'm going to go with the more cleaner look. Um, with the roll cage, it's a little bit too much, if you know what I mean. Um, so let's put the race weight reduction on. That pushes it down to 1,200 kilos, which is actually quite heavy, to be fair. Seeing as the Evo last um, episode was about 1,100 kilos. So it weighs more than that, which is kind of crazy, to be fair. Uh, so if we run from 450 to 500 horsepower, I think we're going to be absolutely fine. So let's continue and do these up upgrades. And I think the camshafts are going to push it. And they have 416 horsepower there. Um, so let's just slowly go through and put these upgrades on. Um, like certain people have certain engine upgrades. Um, obviously there's some, certain upgrades you get more bang for what you're paying. Uh, but you know what? I kind of just, I like to mix it up. Just go with random, random upgrades just to see if it works. Um, I don't know, it's pretty weird, I'm not going to lie. Um, so there we go, 466 horsepower. I'm feeling just a little bit more power, just that little bit we need to push us over the edge. Um, so 480 horsepower there, and we're still in A class, which looks pretty sick. Um, so yeah, let's do that. And that is all the upgrades done, so let's jump out into Freebo. Um, it's going to spawn us in Nice, but I'm tempted to go to the Industrial again. I know I keep going to the Industrial, but in terms of getting a clean run... Um, it's so much better. So I'm going to go to the industrial, uh, jump down here quickly. Um, I just prefer having clean runs than, you know, just getting crashed into all the time and having to adjust. So you can't really feel how the car is drifting uh, if you have to keep adjusting and shit like that. Um, so yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm really enjoying it doing every single day. Um, sorry that there's not been any other videos coming out on other games, but this has took up so much of my time that it's been crazy. So yeah, that car looks absolutely spot on. I love the way this car looks. Um, it's kind of what I planned it to look like when I first started. So there we go. We have the rain. The once an episode rain. Oh, pretty loose on the rear. Okay, we need, we need a lot more tire spin on the rear, uh, but we need a little bit more stability on the rear too. Um, so, let's bring it around here. Um, let's give it a proper run, because that was a really a good corner. Okay, it's got the power. It's got plenty of power. Whoa, a lot of power. Oh shit! Okay, it needs a lot more. It needs to be stabilised. To be fair, uh, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of camber, but I'm gonna lower the tyre pressures quite a bit. Um, trying to get some more grip into these rear tyres here. But obviously, it is raining, so it is gonna be a little bit slippier. So that would, might have just been me uh, messing up there, but I don't think so. This car feels pretty loose on the rear. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make the front a little bit grippier as well. Uh, it just feels a little bit loose on my on my wheels. So let's do that. Um, let's just do my normal kind of bass tune. <laughs> bass, bass, can you kick it? Um, so 29. Let's go to about 29. Um, so high pressure's on the rear. I'm feeling to go a little bit lower. Let's just go to like 28.4. I think that should be sufficient. Um, gearing, gearing felt about fine. We could go to acceleration just a tiny bit. Um, but I think that should be alright. 3.65 there. Um, let's do the camber on the front a tiny bit. But on the rear we're going to go a little bit further. Let's go to about 1.8. That seems fine. Um, caster, let's go 5.5. Uh, on the rear we can come up a tiny smidge. Springs, pretty okay. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit stiffer though. I like my cars a lot stiffer so... You can make your softer if you want to. If you use more body weight for transitions etc. Uh, but I use mostly... The wheel and trans um, and forces. So yeah, 
that's no, uh, I'm not going to go that low actually. Let's just go down in the rear a tiny bit. Um, differential 100% and 100%. So there we go. That is base tune on. Uh, we can adjust this to our needs from now. Okay, so let's see how this feels. Uh, it feels like it's lightening up in game. So hopefully this rain will disappear pretty much soon. Wow, I've never seen these colours before on, on this game. It looks really, really weird. Like it's raining, but it's sunny. Okay, it feels so much more stable. Even in the rain, it feels so much better already. Uh, so that's good, good adjustments there. Get close to that wall, that's pretty sick. Oh, this has got the perfect amount of power. Perfect amount of power. Yeah, this car's feeling good. I know it's in the rain as well, um, so maybe we can wait for the dry. See if it, it does feel the same in the dry. Hopefully it does, uh, but we never know. Um, so let's give this another run. Um, I can't really think of any changes we could do here. Uh, seeing as Horizon is so easy to tune cars, um, I just quite literally put a base tune on, and it seems to work on every single car. Now, if there was one one point where I could show you how bad the AI are on this game. Hey, you have friends no. In an online free roam if I could show you, you like me to how bad you they were, game? that was quite literally it. Like, he turned around and actually went into my way. Like, come on. <laughs> Why would you do that? Okay, so this is feeling very nice. That stability there was insane. It's got the power it needs. You can just pull out of corners, which is perfect. Oh, just fuck off, Anna. Can you turn off Anna in this game? I've never really looked in the settings. I should really do that. She's so annoying. All right, let's give it another run because, you know, full run in the dry. See how it feels. It's got so much power. It feels very good on the wheel. So if you have a wheel, I reckon this car is right up your street to be fair. Look at that stability. That is amazing. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. So yeah, another new new good car here. Um, probably another tandem car. Uh, it feels like it's got enough power and it's it's not too much power, so you can get on a, on a door and stay there. Uh, but let's give this another run. Um, it felt really weird at the end there, but I think that was more me just not paying attention, but Let's give it another run see if it feels the same. Look at that stability. Oh my god If you oh wow that felt fucking amazing through that corner. You see how that just held sideways so smooth That felt so good So the E36 the in real life known drifter is Pulling its weight on this game Now come on, if you didn't see how good that run was, go away, <laughs> pretty much, I don't know what to say, just go away, because that was fucking amazing, so I recommend you do check out this car, that feels absolutely insane, I can't actually explain how good that actually felt, um, so I'm going to upload this onto the storefront for you, uh, so if you don't want to copy the video, um, you can just download it from the storefront, it's got nice wheels, it's got nice um, aesthetics, so there'll be no reason um, but to download it off here uh, but if you want to adjust it uh, to your own needs you can copy the settings of the video um, and yeah so if you're if you're lazy you can download it off here basically <laughs> um, if I was watching this I'd probably download it off here to be fair um, seeing as it's um, a lot easier <laughs> so yeah I'll share that so that is now on the storefront just search for gamertag which is Kevin Toll in the top right there and it's the same as my YouTube so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment what you want to see next episode. And I will see you next time.